The police in Zambia yesterday surrounded the home of uh, former President Edgar Lungu and demanded they search the property as part of a corruption probe. A spokesman for Zambia's former ruling Patriotic Front uh, Party, Rafael Nakachinda, has said the police forcefully gained access to the Lusaka home of the former president, a move which he has described as not only unconstitutional, but criminal, as the country's laws gives immunity to the former president. Well, the move by the police comes 10 months after Zambia's anti-money laundering agency summoned former First Lady Esther Lungu over the ownership of 15 luxury flats in Lusaka. According to investigators, the apartments were ill-gotten gains, but the uh, Lungus have denied any wrongdoing. Well, this morning, joining us uh, from Lusaka is uh, Chilofia Tayali. He is the President Economica and Equity Party in Zambia. It's so good to have you join us once again, especially this year. I don't think we've spoken in a long time, have we? Yes, uh, thank you very much for bringing me to the program, and it has been a while. I really appreciate it. All right. Uh, let, let's dig deep into this latest accusations. The police forcing their way into the home of the former president. Uh, what really are they looking for uh, in terms of um, uh, the anti-corruption uh, cases, the bodies, and, of course, the luxury cars? Uh, what in mind do you think they're really looking for? Well, um, uh, luckily, I was uh, part of um, the event, everything that was happening there. I, I, I witnessed it. And um, I must say that uh, the story has two sides of it. There is the side of um, a genuine complaint, which was brought before the police, and of course, there is the political side of it, of course, considering uh, President Edgar Lungu as a former head of state. Now, what is the legal uh, aspect of it? The legal aspect of it is that there is uh, somebody who used to work for the family. This is the family of the former head of state. And this lady uh, took advantage of uh, some money that she was um, given you know, to handle. And this money was later used to buy properties, uh, which includes uh, three vehicles and a house. And uh, apparently other people are claiming those properties because the, the, the family of the former first lady, of the former president, uh, got those properties which were bought using the money that was in the hands of this this person and uh, she went and reported to the police to say they have grabbed my properties and the police went in now to get the properties that were gotten as proceed of crime if you if you like that so this is the the, the case as it were money was lost the properties was bought, were bought from the same money and the, 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 the former first lady got those properties which were bought using that money. But that person went and reported to the police and the police came to the uh, former head of state to search for those vehicles and the documents relating to a house which was bought. Now, the political aspect of it is that much as this case as it were, is a genuine case which was reported to the police. The problem came in when the police came with a blank search warrant that they want to search the property uh, for vehicles and documents. So this is where the standoff came in because the former head of state said, you need to be specific. What is it that you are looking for? If our vehicles, what vehicles are you looking at? And what documents do you want? So there was a long standoff of over about five hours between the lawyers of the former head of state and the police. The police were brutal in the sense that they even wanted to break the house, to access the house and do the search. Uh, because of the supporters that were there, they couldn't do it. It was really tense, um, life-threatening, I must say, uh, because the police came in full force with guns and uh, these uh, riot, riot uh, you know, all the tools that they could have. 
So it was really tense. But eventually, the former head of state came in and reasoned with them, and they specified what they wanted, and uh, that was provided to them. And this morning, uh, the, the interrogation or the interviews will continue at the police station. So that well, is basically the, the story. Okay, well, you're talking about interviews. You know, was anyone arrested? And then, can you shed more light on the political angle? You know, is Edgar Lungu in any political battles with, you know, anybody currently, or with the current president in, um, in, in Zambia? Uh, are there certain angles to this that we may not be told, um, you know, in, in the I'm, news? I'm struggling to hear because uh, I myself, I was attacked in my house and there were gunshots shot. So my ears are kind of blocked. Oh, so sorry please, about that. Yeah, I'm asking once again about the political angles to this. Is uh, former President Edgar Lungu in any political, you know, battles with anyone that may have prompted this search? Um, because from the way it's described, it, it's it's more than meets the eye. So is, is there any political battle with uh, former President Edgar Lungu and the current president in Zambia? Yeah, absolutely. It's more than meets the eye. I must uh, really emphasize that, that uh, it's more than meets the eye. Uh, and um, though I have not really gotten exactly what you're saying, but the, 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 I think he, there is a problem between his, the, the current president and the former president. It's like, uh, you know, uh, I was in power. When you were in power, you did... A, B, C, D. And now I'm in power. So, uh, you know, the president is also flexing his muscle, President Haka uh, Ichilema. So whatever is going on is beyond, uh, you know, the fight against corruption. It is more political and the teeth that is between the former head of state and the current president. And also the fear. Uh, because the former head of the, the former head of state has been uh, kind of seen in public, and uh, it is making the current president uncomfortable. He feels that he wants to come back in power. He wants to contest 2026 general elections, and he has categorically said that I will not allow him to contest. I will not allow him to come back. So anything that has to do with the former head of state. Uh, the current president is trying to use that uh, for his political uh, um, motives. All right. Well, a lot of critics have also said that um, uh, the government, of course, uh, led by Hakeinde Ichilema, is actually targeting um, uh, other political uh, party members. Well, let's take a look at what um, the former president said uh, Edgar Lungu, uh, he called the uh, ad attack, let's put it that way, into his home uh, without a very credible and acceptable search warrant as abusive, unconstitutional. He also went ahead to claim or make statements such as that it, such things shouldn't take place. Uh, let's ask very quickly, do you think that there should be a right for even former presidents to be searched especially when there are cases of uh, uh, such nature that we see? Yes, look, um, if you look at the law, at the moment, the former head of state uh, has immunity, mm -hmm. has immunity, and um, though he's out of power, you know, he's not a person that you can uh, easily uh, run over or conduct a search. There must be... Uh, some procedures that have to be followed. So you can't, the police cannot just wake up early in the morning and come before the former head of state and uh, say, we want to get in. Uh, there is that legal, he enjoys immunity at the moment. So that, what was done really is subject of constitutional uh, review. And I, I believe, I agree that there is an abuse as well, because uh, the former head of state did not refuse uh, access to his house. All he asked was that, can you tell me specifically what you want? Unfortunately, unfortunately, they could not provide that. Instead, they just wanted to be forceful. They even started breaking the, 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 the gate. 
Uh, surely that uh, I don't think is the right way of uh, doing things, in as much as they might be a, a case that they were genuinely uh, investigating, they would have done it better. So there is an abuse and uh, there is something that we should call a, a subject for judicial review. Yeah. And of course, you know, a lot of people have also described this as very embarrassing, you know, seeing the way the former president was treated. Um, and of course, yeah, I think, I think there was um, some equipment, you know, sent to his house to break down his gate or pull down his gate. Uh, and, um, you know, a lot of the comments have said, you know, this is not the way that a former president should be treated. But I, I want to get your views on Zambians now. How do they feel towards Edgar Lungu? Is there a, a lot of love for, for the former president in Zambia? Um, I struggle to hear that. I struggle to hear that, really. Uh, please just, I'm, uh, I'm asking uh, about the uh, way Zambians... My, my, my ear next to the phone. Yeah, okay. I'm asking about the way Zambians feel about Edgar Lungu. Do, is there a lot of love for him in Zambia? What Zambians feel? Did I, if I get you right, what do Zambians feel? Absolutely. About what, what, Zambians, what Zambians feel, especially for the president at this point in time? Yeah. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, you know, Zambians are peaceful people and they usually sympathize with the underdog. So at this point in time, uh, the former head of state is really getting uh, sympathy from many Zambians. More so that, uh, you know, a lot of promises were made by the current president on how he was going to, change, to turn around the economy, reduce the cost of living. And also, he, many allegations were made against President Edgar Lund. But most of these things have not been fulfilled. So Zambians, seeing what they were seeing yesterday, I mean, I was streaming live on Facebook, and I can tell you that I reached the highest uh, viewership yesterday on my page. And most of the comments, they are really sympathizing with Edgar Lungu. And I think uh, President uh, uh, Hakainde Ichilema didn't do himself a service because he had something that he was celebrating with the students a big event where he had given them new allowance, trying to claim something out of what he's doing. But no one paid attention to that. Instead, the whole focus was on President uh, Edgar Lungu. So I think uh, uh, President Hakainde uh, Ishilema must think very carefully on how he's handling the former head of state because he's giving more and more sympathy uh, to the people um, uh, or, you know, who are supporting uh, uh, the former head of state. All right. Uh, we, of course, will continue to follow up and, you know, and um, see if there's any updates on the story. But, of course, a good thing that you were present and you were able to get all the information, uh, you know, from uh, the incident yesterday. Thanks for your time. We will be speaking with you again. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Thank you. And do take care of your ears. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and do take care of your ears as well.